Welcome back, lighting friends. It's Rob from Pathway Connectivity. Thanks for joining me. We are talking about Corio network sliders and buttons and the Corio architectural controller. And this all applies to the Cognito 2 console as well. So as long as you have one of our control systems, you can use these network sliders and buttons that we discussed in the last video. So as promised, I said that we were going to demonstrate how you might remote control your architectural controller. In this case, I have a seven inch Corio wall screen right here, which is the heart of my system. It's getting power from a VIA5 switch and connected to it, I have a network slider and button uh, station, which is similar to this one right here. And as you can see, we have the one with the ethernet jack on it. We call that the master and the two slaves. So from the front, it looks like a four button here, a four button and a single slider. In this case, I have a single module that has four buttons on it and two sliders and two sliders making four. But let's just uh, have a look at my visualization here. I'm going to be using a ballroom. Um, and in this case, there's a lot of doors on the north, the south, the east, the west. And when we walk into this room, we want to actually be able to turn on the lights. So even without network sliders and buttons, I just want to show you how you might do that using just the hardware on the Corio. So I have built some groups here and I'm going to grab my down lights and I'm going to grab my uh, chandelier circles. I've done that in the select view. Now I go into control and I'm going to take those to full. And you can see there's lots of white light in the room. So that is something that I might want to have when I walk in the door. So without even the network sliders and buttons, we're just going to use a normal rocker switch like this one here on a wall. That doesn't take any uh, training of your staff. So what we're going to do is we're going to record that and I'm going to record it into a memory page called entrance. I'm going to call this... Uh, lights and we'll just give it a little bit of time just so it's not so abrupt and then we say done so if we wanted to now we'll just release that stuff out and I could go into setup and I could go into my inputs and outputs and if I down arrow to contact one Contact one is currently acting on the main page. I will say that that should act on the entrance memory number one. There we go. So now when I enter the room, I can flip on a switch and I have a one second fade up of the lights coming on. And when I leave the room, I can fade out. Now you may want to lock down this very powerful screen, but a little complicated to uh, what we call wall station mode. So let me go in here. I will set up wall station mode. My wall station mode is going to be a button station on the entrance and it's going to be a two button and I'm not going to show a master slider. So I'll apply that and now we'll lock the screen and here's our entrance and there are my white lights and they come on and they come off. Now of course that wasn't very useful because I can't sit here all day and holding my finger on the button. So what we need to do is unlock the screen, go into the play, select this guy, press the pencil to edit him, and change his bump mode from momentary to a toggle. So now when we lock the screen, we walk into the room and we have the lights and then we leave and they turn off. So uh, that is two very simple ways without network sliders and buttons to be able to uh, run the architectural control system from a remote location. But this video we said is about network sliders and buttons. So why don't we hook this guy up to do the same thing? So let me unlock my screen now. I go into setup. I go into Corio Network Sliders and Buttons, and it shows a list of the assigned stations in my show. Now there aren't any, 
So what I'm going to do is I am going to add stations and it's gone out through the switch on the network and found multiple stations that are plugged in here. So uh, I don't know which one's which, so I'm going to press the identify button and oh look at that guy. That's not the one, I want the one on the wall here. So I'm going to down arrow to this one. Oh, there, that's the one I'm talking about. So let's apply that to my show. And there it is now as an assigned station. I'm going to edit it. Instead of using this serial number for a name, I'm going to call this station the, oops, North Wall. Very nice. And it is going to act along the memory page called Entrance. And it doesn't have a master slider. So we'll apply that. And now, look, there's a button that is illuminated on my network sliders and buttons. And that happens because I have recorded just one button there. And it is a toggle. So if I press this button on, it runs that memory and my lights come on. Then I could go from wall station mode and see that the lights are on and I can turn it off and you'll see that the lights go off here. I can turn it on and I can turn it off. Now that's great for the north wall and when I'm in front of this station, what happens when we have more than one? So we knew that we were on the network and we saw two. So let me add station and there's my tabletop one just to check. I will say, oh yep, yeah, that's the guy. And let's apply that. And now we are going to edit the tabletop one. And we're going to point him to the same entrance memory page. And in this case, let's give it a master slider. So uh, I'm going to use slider uh, one, two, three, four, the one on the right. And the buttons are one. And uh, let's make the sliders uh, offset B one as well, just to show. Right, so now we have a green LED on this slider. And we have a blue LED where the memory is and another one there. So let's just go into our live mode and we can see that we can turn on the lights from here. They turn on on stage and I can turn them off from there. Now this slider here is actually the master. If I have it anywhere below the top, it will be red showing that I've mastered it. So now if I turn this guy on, you can see that I can propor proportionately control the intensity of the lights based on everybody who's on here. I'll turn them off. I could also run them manually because I've set my button offset to be one and my uh, slider offset to be one. Now during some events, you might want to disable one of the stations. So in that situation, what you could do is physically unplug it. That's a bit boring. Or you could just go into setup and you can find the one that you want to get rid of. I know it's called the tabletop one there. And I press mute and it turns off all of the LEDs. Now this thing is completely inactive and it leaves control here. So I can, from my service station behind the bar, wherever it's safe, I could do that. And then at the end of the event, I can turn this back on and then people are free to turn the lights on or off from that station. So join me next time when we're going to spread this out across multiple rooms.